here. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is super important. You've probably heard either me or other authors say this many times. It's that you should review the books that you read. So this is something that is kind of talked about loosely in the author and booktube community, but I really need to emphasize how important reviews are for authors and for readers alike. So today I'm going to give you five reasons that you should review every book that you read. Number one, and this is mostly for the author's sake, is that the more reviews a book has, the more likely that Amazon and other platforms are going to recommend it to other readers. For Amazon, I'm not sure if this is still the case, but a while ago I heard that the number is 20 reviews, and once you hit 20 reviews, Amazon starts recommending your books to other readers. Now, this doesn't have to be 20 positive reviews, it just has to be 20 reviews in general to know that the book is getting traffic. And as long as it has decent ratings, Amazon will recommend that book when other readers start scrolling through and looking through books in the similar genre. Reason number two to review every book that you read is that people tend to go for products that have more reviews. Not every book is for everyone, but chances are if there's a part of a book that you read that you really enjoyed, or you think that there is possibility in this book but it just wasn't for you, chances are it has an audience somewhere. There is an audience for every book that is on the market, and people will tend to at least look at a product if it has a couple reviews on it. It's much more likely, even if the review is at an average of three stars, that someone will look over that rather than a book that has zero reviews. So if you enjoyed the book even a little bit, please consider leaving a review because there is bound to be someone out there who it might be their favorite book that they've ever read and because you left a review and helped boost it up a little in the target thing that Amazon has, there's a chance that they'll find it. The third reason you should review every book that you read is because it helps other readers determine if they think that that book should be for them. So oftentimes, if there's a book that looks promising online and I see it has pretty decent reviews, I'll scroll down and see what people are saying, especially if it's a more expensive book. Before I'm getting myself into something, oftentimes I'll just look through and see what other people are saying about it. Now for me, and for a lot of readers, other people's reviews are not the end all be all for whether or not you're purchasing a book, but especially if you're a little on the edge, if the book's a little more expensive, a little more pricey, then that might be a good way to determine if you'll like the book. Especially when reviews compare books to other books that are out on the market, it can be a really good tool to determine if this is something that you might enjoy. Reason number four that you should review every book that you read, and this is for more of those obsessive readers such as myself out there that read a crazy amount of books every year, it helps you remember certain aspects about the book. So I'll go through my Goodreads at the end of the year and pick out my top five books for the year, or if I'm scrolling through and I wanna write a review on something for my blog, but I don't exactly remember all the details, it's really helpful if I wrote up a quick Goodreads review because then I can go back to that and kind of refresh myself on what the book is about, things I liked about it, writing style, things like that. Because especially when you're reading so many books, sometimes they can kind of get a little mixed up. So that's something really helpful, especially if you're reading a lot or writing a lot of reviews. Last but not least, reason number five you should review every book that you read, and this is a little bit controversial, I think is the right word. Um, it's to give the author feedback on their work. Now I know some authors don't like reading their reviews, but as an author, I think reviews are super important to hear what your audience thinks of your work. Some people are scared that there's trolls and there's people that are just gonna hate to hate, and that's always gonna be the case with any art form that's out there, but I think it's really important to look at what your readers are saying and try to improve. Now, if there's something that they didn't like that's major, like the plot or a character, you can take those into consideration, but oftentimes if it's something that's at the core of the book, then like that's kind of difficult. I mean, not every plot is for every person, but if they're talking about something like pacing or writing style or maybe verb choice, things like that, that's something that you can take into consideration when you start writing your next work. And I think that's something that is really over looked when it comes to reviews. You shouldn't just say like, oh, I liked it, oh, I didn't. If you give details, it's really helpful for the author to see what people are saying. 
So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this kind of shed a little light on why reviews are so important for authors. If you would like to leave a review for either The Scavenger or Missing Her, I'll leave the links in the description box. Please take the time to fill it out. It doesn't have to be super lengthy or anything, but your thoughts are really important, both for the community online and for the author themselves. Thank you guys for stopping by. Bye.